Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to display our data that we got in the last video in a clean list format. So by the end of the tutorial, we'll have two columns that's going to display anime on each side and we're going to show the images and the um, titles of the anime. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we do implement this into our application, we got to talk about what we're going to be implementing in the first place. We're going to be using something called a like flat list. Now what a flat list is, it allows us to be able to display a list of things that we want. So a list of data in a clean um, render basic way. So some of the features that they uh, support in the React Native documentation is that it's fully cross-platform. It has horizontal mode, so if you want to make carousels, header support, footer support, separator support, you can do pull to refresh, scroll loading. So like if you wanted to refresh your page, uh, sorry, refresh your list, you can do that as well. And you can also have multiple columns, which is what we're also going to be implementing. So here's an example of what that looks like. So if we see in this column, they have a bunch of data, they have three items with the title first item, second item, third item, and they are creating this const item, which basically just calls the title uh, key right here and displays it. And what they have to do to display it is they have to call flatlist. Now flatlist takes a couple of parameters that need to be there. It needs data, it needs to know what item it needs to render and how it's gonna look like, and it needs a key extractor. So the first prop data is very simple. It needs an array of objects um, to be able to pick out the data for, and after that it has a render item. Now this prop, you can consider this is what the flat light, the flat list is gonna look like. So if you pass in render item right here is what they're doing. They're actually creating this function that returns an item, item.title. Now, what this is basically doing is it's sending all of the data that's associated to this array of objects into another uh, function right here outside of the actual app called item. And this is where they're actually doing all the rendering. So you can think of this as a middleman that takes in all the props and this sends and receives the props and displays it in the way that they wanted. And at the very bottom, they have the styling right there. So at a basic sense, that's pretty much all you really need to know about Flatlist. So let's go ahead and implement it into our app. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to define our Flatlist. Now that's gonna be really simple. The first thing we need to do is we need to comment out this text usage right here. And after we comment it out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define our Flatlist. So it's gonna be called flat with a capital F and a capital L with a self-closing brace. Now remember that this Flatlist takes three props out of the box, it needs these. The first one is gonna be data, and that's gonna be equal to data.data, .data. and after that is gonna be render item, which is gonna be equal to, you guess it, render item. Remember that we're gonna be creating a middleman that's gonna pass our props to our actual area. We're gonna define all of our list. And finally, we're gonna define our key extractor, which is gonna be equal to item arrow function item.id. So we have a unique ID for each item. Now let's go ahead and import it right here, flat list like so. And we need to also ren define our render item. Alrighty, so now as you can see, render items coming out is undefined. So let's go ahead and define it. So I'm gonna create a new function and I'm gonna call it render item. And this is gonna be equal to, we're gonna pass it in a parameter. It's gonna take a prop called item. I'm going to create a function. We'll call it uh, anime list, and the prop name that we're going to give it. Let's call it anime obj, which is going to receive item like so. Now it's going to say anime list is not defined. So let's go ahead and define it. We're going to create a new file in the home directory called anime list.js, and just so we have some data or just some content inside of it, I'm going to go and copy my home file and paste it inside of here and change the name of the export. We'll call it anime list, like so. And the view, we're gonna get rid of everything inside of the view. Clean this up, we don't need that, that, or that. Let's call this anime obj. Let's get rid of that, and these two as well. And just to make sure that we have the data, let's go and do console.log anime obj. And now if we save it and refresh, we should hopefully see the data console logged here, we don't. All right, we also have to import it back here as well. So let's go ahead and do anime list like so, import it. And now we have the data, perfect. So now let's go ahead and render all this data and make it look all fancy like. So going back into my anime list right here, what I'm gonna do is get rid of this console log, we don't need it anymore. 
and inside of this view we're gonna create something called image background and what this allows us to do is it's an amazing tag which allows us to be able to add overlays on top of it so like text overlays or um, other image overlays or whatever you want gradients and whatnot so thankfully our image that we want to get and to display in react native is really simple it comes as a url which is right here and it's a little bit complicated to get so just follow along with how i'm going to get it so i'm going to type in here source is equal to double curly brace uri which is going to be anime obj dot images dot jpeg so there's different formats you have jpeg png and i think don't remember the last one but those two popular ones and then after that we're going to do images oops image dot un underscore url and so now if we save it all right we also have to import it there we go so image background and now we should see one thing nothing well let's continue on we'll see it eventually and so after that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a, another view tag with a self-closing brace. This is going to be our overlay so that we have some gradient above our text. So it's a little bit easier to know what the text of the anime is. And after that, we're going to do another view tag. And this is going to contain a text, which is going to be called animeobj.title. And if we save it, we should oops, also have to import that as well. And so now if we save it, we should see our images right here. Although it's not scrolling, uh, we do see our text, it's very light. So now let's go ahead and make this into a column. So to do that, I'm gonna give some things some styling. Firstly, we have to define something called a style sheet. Now this is how you can create styles in React Native. Now once we've created the style sheet, I'm going to outside of my anime list function, create another function called styles, which is equal to style sheet dot create and inside of these curly braces we can add a bunch of uh, tags and associate those tags to some CSS so I'm just gonna go and copy and paste uh... so now that we have all these objects we need to associate these uh, key names to actual tags here so the first one that we're gonna be associating is the actual image background tag now for this one, I called it a uh, tiny URL, which has height of 300 with the 150 and some border radius to give it some smoothness. And we're gonna give it, uh, so to attach it, you have to do style is equal to styles. So the name of this function variable, sorry, function variable is equal to, and we can give it tiny logo like so. And now if we save it, we see that it looks a little bit better now. Now after that, we're going to create another uh, style so we're going to do style is equal to styles dot overlay now this is going to give us a little bit of gradient over our image now for the next style we ideally want these text values to be at the bottom and right in the middle of it so for this view I'm going to go ahead and give it a style is equal to styles dot push text to bottom we haven't created this yet but I'll go ahead and create it at the bottom right here so I'll do push text to bottom, and this is gonna be equal to position absolute, left zero, right zero, bottom zero, justify content center, and align item center. And then after that, we need to, whoops, I did stwiley. That's weird. Style, there we go. And so now if we look really hard, we can see that it's at the bottom right there. And now we need to apply some styling to our text itself. So I'll do style is equal to style dot text styles. And at the very bottom here, I'll go ahead and call it text styles like so. And we're gonna, we're, all we're gonna do is we're gonna give it the color of white like so. And now we can see it even better. Perfect. So a couple of things we gotta watch out for is that as you can see, some of these anime titles are really long. We want to make sure that, uh, well, I haven't seen any this long. Uh, like this one right here, Neon Genesis, Evangelion, Death, uh, and Rebirth. Just in case, if it goes over the actual image, we want to make sure that it breaks itself off. So we're going to do adjust font size to fit, and we're going to equal that to be true. You can also just call it properly this, 
uh, but just to make it more clear that's the best we can do as well and just in case uh, we're going to give it a number of lines so the maximum number of lines that the text can go to is two and now we can see that it's two right there perfect all right so now you're probably wondering well how do we apply um, to some styling to the actual flat list itself to make it into two separate columns well i'm glad you asked so we're going to give it a couple more props the first one we're going to call is called column wrapper style and we're going to give it some styling so we'll do styles dot oh whoops we don't have that created here so i'll create it at the very top right here so we'll do const styles is equal to style sheet dot style sheet and import it at the top right here style sheet and do dot create and we're gonna go and go ahead and call it um, column wrapper style and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it into there like so so now we have justified content space between and a little bit of padding so it's not all on top of each other like so and to apply it, all you have to do is styles dot column wrapper style, like so. And we also need to give it another prop, which is called num of columns. So now we can define how many columns we want. So we just want two, ideally. And now we can see that we have two columns working. Perfect. And so now if I try to scroll, we'll see that it is actually working properly and it's pretty smooth. We can see the images of the anime, the text of what it's associated to. And in the next video, what we're actually going to be learning is how to, on the click of a button, pass the data, the metadata of that anime into a separate component to display more information about the anime. That might not make sense right now, but it's really cool. It has something to do with React Navigation props. And we're going to learn about that in the next video. So stay tuned. And if you like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.